Good morning, everybody. It's me, Shad, Polynerdic. It is 6 in the morning on this lovely Friday that I have taken off from work. Um, because I have a number of things going on. Like, they might be fixing my drywall today in the bathroom. Uh, that's a whole story uh, involving uh, pipe replacement. And I've just had an open bathroom wall forever. Anyway... I got my hands on some things I wanted to unbox. You know this already because you've read the title of the video. I have half a brick, so four of these, um, and I have ten more of these, which you can't see. It's washed out. There we go. Pathfinder Battles. Um, and I'm just going to do a double unboxing. I love miniatures for my tabletop games. Um... This Vecna Eve of Ruin set has some, some really good all-purpose ones, and it, like Kuatoa and stuff. But it's also got, you know, like a really killer Vecna mini possible and stuff. But I couldn't justify buying a full 24 of these and a full 8 of these. So I did essentially half and half. Um, because I, I just like unboxing things and 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 miniatures are so fun. They're they're I mean they're literally all over my desk, all over my apartment. <laughs> There's some up there that you could you can't quite see them, but that top shelf has some on them too. Like I I just love D and D minis, and I, t I just looked at this box and the first one, the first large one we pulled is one I can't use when my youngest is at the table, which will tell you a little bit about what it is. So let's, let's look at the small ones first. Ooh, I know what this one is. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to do the hot water trick on this guy. Because that's a droopy axe right there. <laughs> the axe is so bent down. That's funny. Um, I, love, I, I love those guys, though. Honestly, can can never have enough of them. Uh, devils, they're they're uh, real prominent in one sequence in um, Baldur's Gate Three. What is this one? Uh, we've talked about it before. The I like the clear bases, but the clear bases make it really hard. Okay, all right. Uh, this is a spoiler for the story of the game, uh, Vecna. Um, there's an individual who masquerades as another individual for for most of the adventure, and this is this is them masquerading as them. Um, my my thoughts on the actual adventure: I've never gotten to run it, never gotten to play it, but uh, I think the Vecna Eve of Ruin adventure is one of the worst ones that Five E's ever put out. And that's mostly simply because it doesn't deliver what it was promised. Um, if you go back and watch the lead up to it, uh, they talk about how it's the, the culmination of the 2014 5e and the 50th anniversary stuff. And the big ball that was dropped is the, the, the black obelisks that are all over the world in 5e uh, they talked about tying that all up and they didn't Kuitoa with a spear awesome I, I'm thinking I might repaint the Kuitoa clothing to make it look more like the warband clothing because um, ah, I missed there's an open box behind me I'm, I'm hoping to get some in there this is the one I can't use the spider fiend. It's got a really cool face on it. It's a really cool mini. But anytime my youngest is at the table, they they are as scared of spiders. So they have said to me, um, now that they're a little older, that they don't mind if I use spiders at, at, in the game. I just can't use the minis. Alright, 
Vecna box number two. Ooh, okay. I like this big one, too. We're going to save the big one for last, as we did last time. Um, but it's one I definitely wanted. It's one I've, I, I have no other minis of, so it's, it's fantastic to have gotten it. Missed again. Missed again. <laughs> I've seen this mini when, when Gallic Goblin did their unboxing. The very Uncle Fester looking fella. I figure out the best way to focus on the mini, not my hand. Seriously. They don't, the people don't want to see my fingers. I mean, some of you might, weirdos. Why is the, it's, it, it might be because he's so pale. Let me try something. Maybe if the light's less intense. Might help. There we go. There we go. The angry commoner. Um, the Vecna Eve of Ruin story is one where you, you, you travel around. Holy shit. I think I got a really good one. Is this who I think it is? I'm out of focus, but you can see that I'm happy. Oh my god, I got it. I got the the one I most wanted. I don't have to buy another one of these boxes. Come on, get in focus, me. got the man himself everybody I have Vecna oh my god look at that look at that nice spell effect on the base down here the spells in his hands it's Vecna I got him It doesn't matter what's in the rest of them. We don't even have to open the rest of them, right? <laughs> All right. All right. And then at, we follow up back now with just a standard little skeleton guy. One can never have enough skeletons, goblins, kobolds, minis of that nature. Right? Like, they're like the bread and butter of adventuring. And then the big boy that was in that one um, is an ice devil. I don't have any ice devils, so that's cool. Oh, I'm so excited. We got back now. On the second box, no less. It, it, it truthfully doesn't matter to me what's in the rest of these. <laughs> um, because that's fucking awesome. Um, but as I was saying, the story of the book, they, they just totally dropped the ball and, and did not deliver... On, on what they promised and what they promised is what I wanted I wanted a, a solid that one went in um, I wanted a solid wrap up of the 5e adventures um, and it's not that we have here okay what do I do with my card there it is a little um Spine Devil. I have one of these that's flying. Now I have one that's on his feet. Yep, we got our first duplicate of the set. Let's see if his axe is better. That'll tell you who. Nope, his axe is also droopy. Man, these poor Marangons and their, uh, their droopy ass axes. It's a cool sculpt, but that axe. Yoda, you're not a D&D &D man. Get out of the way. It's funny that our our first duplicate was a 
has the exact same groupie axe problem. This is another one I wanted. Uh, I don't, I don't remember her role in the story, uh, but she's an excellent pirate mini. Fantastic. And then the uh, the big boy in that set. I'm kind of missing one. Spine Devil. No, that's right. We got a Frock. A Vulture Demon. Pretty solid sculpt and paint job. another uh, devil demon that I don't have already so we've we've encountered rocks at the table before and I, I, I didn't have a mini for him uh, so honestly we sk we skedaddled around that that particular bit of conflict as a result all right last one um, there's still a couple minis in the set that I wouldn't mind having. There's a Red Abishai, uh, Kaz the Betrayer's on here, Bone Devil, Necromantic Wizard, uh, Tasha's in this set. I would love to have Tasha. Um, we'll see, though. Mm, cool. All right. Let's see. For our tiny folk in this. Uh, we got another skeleton. Different one though. Different skeleton. This one's got a spiky club. A mace if you will. So we've got a pickaxe skeleton and a um, mace skeleton. Now we got our second Kuatoa. I'm actually surprised at how few Kuatoa we got. When I watched um Gallon Goblin unboxed this. Oh, he did a whole brick. And uh, he had a ton of Kuatoa. If you found them in Boulder's Gate 3, you know how silly they can be. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where'd it go? I dropped it. I found it. <laughs> well, I really got a vacuum down there. Uh, anyway, um, we got Bearded Devil. I have several of these. A couple I painted, a couple I got out of other sets. I like this sculpt. It's probably my favorite Bearded Devil I've ever seen. Um, so we didn't get Tasha. That's kind of a bummer. We got Vecna, though. Like, how, are, how could I be unhappy? Considering we got Vecna. And then the large the large one in this set is a Blaze Bear. Um, it's got these really gross pustules and growths on it. Uh, that's, this is from Eberron uh, in, the, in the book. I have designs on them from my own homebrew world. Because what's a good fantasy homebrew world without... A uh, corrupted magical forest. All right, now we're gonna do the fearsome forces one. Uh, this is something new that Wiz Kids is doing. These are Pathfinder minis. Uh, instead of a a booster box like we just saw with Wiz Kids uh, for D and D, Wiz Kids is doing single blind boxes, which I don't I don't know that I like it. Um, the sculpts are great, uh, and and I'm all for Pathfinder minis um, because they, there's not enough of them. We talk about it every time we talk about Pathfinder and miniatures that there's there's simply not enough uh, love given to Pathfinder via Wiz Kids. There's so many wild and awesome uh, concepts in Pathfinder: archetypes, uh, character designs, even even monsters. That, that don't get 
minis, and it's it's sad. I got the one, one of the ones I've wanted ever since I saw this. Um, let me make sure I know how to pronounce it. Hope oh, I can read it. Okay, I can't read it off this, um, but ever since I read the T.N. Shaw books, uh, I love these little things. Yes, that's an umbrella with a tongue and a foot. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm so glad I got that one. That's my first of the ten. Um, these come, and uh, you can get them individually, or you can get a big uh, 24 of them. Um, again, did not buy 24 of them myself. Did not buy the full set. Uh, I wanted to do two uh, things. I'm so glad we did, because Vecna, oh, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. This is another one I was interested in. Just getting all kinds of skeletons today. The harpy skeleton. I love undead variants. Give me um, all sorts. Of, like I've got here on my desk in front of me from a different set. I've got um, a, a dragonborn skeleton. Well, he doesn't have a tail, which always upsets. Uh, that was a decision they made in 5e that I, I just I couldn't get behind the the half dragon versus dragonborn shenanigans and we have here all right we got this last time uh, we did one of these a couple weeks ago I had like six of them we, we got another one of those that's fine There's nothing wrong with having duplicates of certain minis. Of most minis, really. It's actually frustrating to not have duplicates when you need them. Like, the party's taking on six orcs, but I only have two. Oh, another duplicate. From last time. Might repaint the shirt or something to make that one stand out a little bit. Uh, I'm not above repainting a mini. Not that I make them better, but like I do like to change things up. Like I had two of Raynar Never Ember. I think that's how you pronounce his name. From uh, the Waterdeep Dragon Heist. So I painted one of them to. Uh... This is cool as fuck. Uh, I paint, repainted one of them to be uh, Drow. <laughs> Look at that. It's a skeleton wizard. Like I said, we love a skeleton variant. Do my best to not cut myself on camera. <laughs> like, ow, I grossed half my figure. Not that my razor blade's that sharp. But what do we have here? <gasps> I love it. I fucking love it. I love lizard folk. Um, Rooksy, I think is how they pronounce it in, in Pathfinder. Look at that. That is a beautiful mini. Lots of nice details on it. You got a spiky bonk stick. We have four more of these. Like I said, not quite a half. Uh, they only had ten. So. Oh, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> Another, got a blowgun, love the coloring. Oh yeah. I'm still, still beaming over the fact that I got Vecna. Like that's, that's amazing for me. Get my 
daily caffeine intake, right? Ooh. What is this? Cool. Little, little bent, I think. No, it's, is that how it's supposed to be? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be, I think. I think. Might be a little bit. I, I can fix that. Um, anyway. Big badass orc. You don't want my face, you want the orc. Come on, camera focus. One of these days, I will get proficient enough at this, and I'll have the funds, maybe the support from third parties, to have like the nice rotating table and stuff that I can put these on. Like maybe if I start getting supplied these and don't have to buy them out of pocket. <laughs> he says knowingly looking at the camera. Oh, yep, this is one I love from the last time. So it's a duplicate, but it's a, a, a what would be a knoll in D&D, in &D, but is a colo in Pathfinder 2E. Cultist. I have ideas for that. Last one. Final little guy. Let's see what it is. I don't want the razor blade to fall on the floor. That would be a problem. Oh, we end where we began. We came full circle on this unboxing. Got the little umbrella guy again. So I got two of the little umbrella guys. I'm sorry I couldn't read what the name is and pronounce it correctly. Uh, but those come into to play because like. Those are also kind of how um, poppets work in Tian Shaw. They, they tend to be those kind of things. Paper lanterns, uh, the umbrella things. Um, at any rate, um, got some really, really fucking good minis this time. Uh, money well spent in my book. Um, just looking at what's arrayed before me here uh the, the pirate lady uh the ice devil the marangons the two kuatoa we got the orc guy the vecna <laughs> like I'll, I'll i'll forever be super excited we got vecna um the couple lizard folk the skeletal mage the umbrella things the blank as Mordenkainen. Um, not to spoil the story too much. I really like the sculpts on a lot of these. Like th this, what this is a really solid mini. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, Twenty-three minutes of me opening boxes and gushing excitedly about the new toys I've gotten. Um, that'll do it for this. Uh, I have, like I said, uh, potentially contractors on site today, um, so I, I probably won't record a whole lot of anything during the day, um, but my weekend is pretty open. Uh, so by the time you see this video, I've probably already recorded several other things, Dead Space, Resident Evil 6, Coral Island, um, I, I want to take a look at the Europa demo. Um, that's on the switch it comes out in a week the, the proper game so i want to check out the demo this weekend um thank you for watching and i will see you in whatever we do next like follow subscribe tell your friends family whoever strangers if you want to if you want to put us out there to total strangers go for it um i won't like you any less for doing it <laughs> and uh i'll see you next time